The leach pad cover wind mitigation project was our senior capstone project. Our sponsor was Freeport McMoran. Its goal was to build a mechanized solution for the copper leaching process. Copper leaching is a process where a material pad is placed on top of a co collection site. Acid is allowed to trickle down the ore material where it dissolves the copper from the ore. The resulting acid copper solution is then recaptured, creating a profitable process. This process can be more profitable by increasing the heat. This is accomplished by placing a plastic cover over top of the material pad, trapping warm air and thus increasing the copper yield. During the installation process, the plastic covers are rolled onto the material pads with a plastic unroll fixture. This is attached and pulled by a bulldozer. During the installation process, when the wind speeds are high enough, the plastic covers blow away, preventing a correct installation. Our project was to create a mechanized process of holding down the plastic covers and preventing the wind from upending them during installation. Our solution was to build a reel that unwinds chain on top of the plastic covers, adding weight and preventing the wind from moving them. Our chain reel system consists of four subsystems, the mechanical, hydraulic, electrical, and structural subsystems. The mechanical system features roller chains and sprockets, which connects the hydraulic and electrical systems to the reel and chain weight. The structural system consists of quarter inch steel plates and supports with uh, bolt-on attachment points. The steel plates and supports accommodate the other subsystems, while the bolt-on attachment points are used to integrate the reel system with the customer's sarpomatic fixture. The hydraulic system is used in order to provide power to the motor, which is used to reel the chain back up when it's no longer in use. So the main purpose of the electrical system was to support the chain deployment with the magnetic particle brake. Uh, the magnetic particle brake is controlled by a current which gives a uh, corresponding torque output uh, for the current. Uh, the idea of the brake is, is to provide a counterbalance torque on the reel so that the chain doesn't unwind with its own weight. Uh, this means that the chain is able to unspool off the reel with the force of friction between the plastic cover and the chain weight, creating a dynamic system where the correct amount of chain is deployed regardless of the bulldozer speed. The electrical system is also used to, uh, for the hydraulic power unit and the solenoids to that, as well as powering the controller. This project was, was not without hiccups in the design. During integration, we realized that our original design was insufficient. In our initial design, we assumed that there would be no torque from the hydraulic motor when it was not in operation. This wasn't the case. The hydraulic motor had so much torque resistance that it prevented the chain from unspooling on the ground. Our solution was to add clutch to mechanically dis disconnect the hydraulic motor from the reel. During deployment, the bin is pulled out, disconnecting the motor and reel, allowing the reel to spin freely. However, when the bin connected, hydraulic power is able to transmit the reel, allowing the chain to be rewound on the reel. Once the system was integrated, testing began. We were able to simulate how the system would operate in the field by placing it in the back of a pickup truck. During testing, we checked proper chain deployment, hydraulic rewind, electrical braking, e-stop, and safety measures. We had three separate tests for this project. The first was our wind mitigation test. This was designed to check if the chain weight was sufficient enough to hold down the plastic tarp. For this test, we placed two lengths of chain on either side of the plastic cover. That's initial position we marked by spray paint. Across one week, we recorded the maximum wind speed and average wind speed that the plastic tarp experienced. Then this first test resulted in our plastic cover successfully moving less than six inches from its initial ground position, despite wind speeds reaching over 30 miles per hour across the one week, thereby passing the test. Our second test was our chain tension test. This test involved checking the ability of our system's magnetic particle brake to withstand loads of torque. We checked that the particle brake could withstand anywhere from five to 50 foot-pounds of torque on the reel via suspended weights. It did so, Thus, the test was successful in validating how the magnetic brake is physically able to deploy more than enough chain at any deployment angle needed. 
The third and final test was our ground tolerance test. This test was designed to check that the chain could be deployed at an ideal deployment angle. With greater torque resistance from the brake, the chain weight deploys at a more shallow angle. Consequently, this test checked to see if the horizontal chain weight held in the air during deployment was between 10 to 20 feet. The test was a success, further verifying our system's chain deployment method. For our system, we incorporated a wagon and auxiliary box. The wagon's purpose is to demonstrate the real system during design day. The wagon is a placeholder for the bulldozer and unroll fixture that we'd be pulling our system in practice. Rolling the wagon backwards allows the system deployments to be demonstrated. The auxiliary box holds our 12 volt DC power and hydraulic pump. Both would, would be replaced by the sponsor's equivalent in practice. So the box is just a placeholder for the systems that would be used in the field. The box also holds another function of safety. The hydraulic pump and high current electricity is safely placed inside the box outside of human interaction. Another safety measure that we took was guarding the rotating sprockets and roller chains, allowing for safe operation. The deliverables for our sponsor included an operating manual, maintenance manual, final report, and of course, our real system. In conclusion, our project was to build a mechanized process to hold down plastic covers. Our team delivered a simple product built with off-the-shelf parts capable of mitigating the wind.